In ES5, we could only use the var keyword to declare variables. In ES6, two additional keywords were added, const and let. Var still works, but we're encouraged to use const and let because of what they change behind the scenes. Const stands for constant, and we use it to declare a variable that can't be changed. That's to say, the value can't be reassigned after the constant has been declared. For example, I'm pretty sure John doesn't intend to change his name, so we can change var to const. If we take a look in the console, it still prints John. But if we try to give the name a new value, like Jane, we get a type error. If we do want the name to be able to change, we can define it with the let keyword. If we save and take a look in the console, it prints Jane. The change behind the scenes that we were talking about earlier is that const and let are scoped to the block. As an example, let's declare the first name variable with var inside an if statement. If we save and take a look in the console, we can see that the name is still printed. So, even though the variable was defined in the local scope of the if block, we could access it outside that local scope, in the console log. If we change the declaration to const, we'll get an error that says the variable wasn't defined. So, we can't access it outside the if block. We'll need to move the console log, to inside the block, or move the variable out of it. This prevents us from accessing a variable, in a context it wasn't intended for. This is especially useful when working in a team. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to define arrow functions and explain their this context. Thank you for watching, we'll see you again in the next one.